Hello, my name is Natalia Porsche and I am an attorney in Biloxi, Mississippi. Uh, my office is located on Pass Road in Biloxi. Um, so who is interested in setting up a consultation, you can give me a call. It's 228-229-7500. And this video will be about family law, Mississippi family law, specifically a hot subject of whether, let's say if you have a child support obligation, if you have been ordered by a chancery court judge here in Mississippi to pay a child support, therefore you have a child support obligation. And let's say that you are thinking about modifying the child support obligation because in your opinion, it's too much. It's in your opinion, the judge ordered this child support that she cannot pay anymore because something happened in your life. For example, um, you lost a loved one or um, you have a lot of medical bills, something happened at work, um, you, you, have, uh, you had an accident or anything like this, okay? So, or you just changed the employment, right? So, what is the standard? Let's say if you would, if you want to file a petition for modification in Mississippi, what is the standard that you have to prove, right? What is the standard that the judge will look at in order to decide whether you even can modify? Well, of course, uh, the judge will look at your present income. Let's say you, uh, let's say we have a hypothetical and you change employment and now you're making much less money than you was before. And the issue now for you is that you want to modify your child support amount based on that. So what you have to show, well, first of all, very, very important that the, um, the change in your employment cannot be voluntary, right? So we have voluntary change of employment versus involuntary. If it's voluntary change of employment and now you're making substantially less than she was making, uh, uh, it's due to your own fault. Basically, that's what court can say. Like you cannot just voluntarily terminate your employment and say that you cannot pay child support. Um, you have to show that the change in employment or your termination was not was not voluntary. You have to show that it was involuntary. Let's say that we have a husband who is an attorney who is who was making a bunch of money and um, he got divorced, right, with his ex-wife, with his wife. So now, and he was ordered to pay, let's say, eight hundred dollars in child support monthly payments. And now he is, um, he decided to give up his law license and work somewhere like say at McDonald's, right? And now he's saying, well, now I can modify my child support amount and pay like $200 or $300. And it's hypothetical, of course, guys. But um, so he, 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 he's thinking that he can ask the court to change his child support amount because he now changed jobs he is working at McDonald's now, so he's making he's making much much less money than he was before. So the issue here for the court will be whether he can even modify his child support amount because he's got a problem. Number one, he must show that um, the change of employment was not due to his own fault, right? And second, or he needs to show material change in circumstances. So. And here he cannot, obviously, in this hypothetical, uh, this lawyer cannot establish that he um, uh, that he um, is entitled to reduction in child support because his reduction was voluntary versus involuntary. Okay, um, and let's say we have another hypothetical where we have a, 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 a father, and uh, due to his disability, without fault of his own, let's say he sleep and fall at the place of employment, and now he cannot function very well, right? So now he's on disability. So here's, we have a very different case. So here he can modify, because why? Because his, the change of circum in circumstances, first of all, substantial change occurred because he had an accident. And second of all, he can show that it was not due to his own fault, right? That he did not change employment, that he did not intentionally terminate his previous employment. Accidents happen, unfortunately, it's part of life. Um, 
So in our hypothetical, in this hypothetical, um, the father can definitely, a father can definitely apply for modification. And keep in mind, guys, that you can only modify child support if you don't have um, arrears, right? If you have a huge amount of arrears, first of all, you, of course, have to be found in contempt. All right, uh, unfortunately, and remember, keep in mind that also um, the party who petitioned, the party can petition for contempt um, and ask for attorney's fees as well as um, attorney fees as well as uh, for um, you allegedly to be incarcerated, right? Because why? Because of past due child support, right? It's a contempt issue, right? This is what it is, contempt. But again, if you're in contempt and this was not due to your fault, right? You, that it was willful contempt, that you did not do it on purpose, that it wasn't willful. Uh, therefore, here we have a little bit different uh, circumstances. Although you can be in contempt, however, it's not due to your fault. Because in, in second hypothetical that I discussed, um, the guy simply uh, had an accident, right? So it's not that he's in contempt, but he's not in willful contempt. Therefore, the issue of incarceration here, I don't think it's appropriate. Okay, so uh, lastly, I would like to, uh, to say that we have a standard here, which is clear and convincing evidence. So the petitioner, let's say um, in our hypothetical, both hypotheticals, uh, fathers, they can petition and they have to establish by clear and convincing evidence that they entitled to modification, the downward modification for the child support, right? Um, so I hope this video was helpful. If you need to set up consultation with my office, give me a call. Uh, the phone number is 229-228-229-7500. Down below, you can see it. Um, make comments. Uh, you're welcome to make comments. Um, um, and if you would like to hear about any kind of other subjects um, uh, regarding divorce, alimony, child support, um, uh, amounts and stuff like that. You can make comments uh, down below and I'll make a video for you. Um, the reason why I like to make these videos um, is because I know a lot of people are pro se, a lot of people cannot afford attorneys. So you can always guys try to do it pro se if you don't have money for attorneys. And that's the reason why I'm making this video. I hope I'm contributing my time. I hope I'm spending my time um, that it will help someone in some situations, um, people who cannot afford lawyers. Um, if you like this video, put thumbs up and um, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.